Polymorphism is one of those object-oriented words that sounds a little scary at first, but it's really quite simple. The root of the word is a bit weird. Morph means to change into something else, and poly means many. It refers to the fact that an object can be changed into many different things. Well, the object doesn't really change. The word masquerade would actually be more accurate than anything having to do with morphing. There really is no changing involved. It's all a matter of how you look at an object. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have an ant. To you, she's an ant, but in a more fundamental sense, she's a woman. And to someone else, she could be a wife. To your cousins, she would be mother. The list could go on and on, and cook, driver, voter, boss. She could be all of these things. It's a matter of context and how she is treated and how she operates under different circumstances. When an object in Java is looked at in a different way, it looks like it's a different object and takes on a different face. This is polymorphism. An object can be treated as if it were an object of any of its superclasses, or an object of any interface that it implements, or any of its superclasses implement. Now, let me show you an example. This is a page in the Sun API documentation. I chose this particular class because it extends a lot of other classes and implements a lot of interfaces. The JFrame class extends the Frame class. That means that the JFrame class is a Frame class, and an object of the JFrame class can be treated as if it were an object of the Frame class. It can also be treated as a window, a container, a component, and, of course, like any other object in Java, it can be treated as a member of the java.lang.object class. But that's not all. Look down here at the bottom. This is a list of all the interfaces that are implemented by all of the classes listed above. That means that the JFrame class implements all of these interfaces also, and with polymorphism, can be treated as if it were any one of them. It can be an accessible object, an image observer, menu container, root pane container, serializable, or window constants. All in all, an object of the JFrame class can be treated as any one of 12 different types of object, and that's polymorphism. I'll be showing you examples of doing this in some later lessons.